WJR. Right now in our studio, a man who uh, is the former lead guitarist for the. What did we finally decide to call it, Kevin? The type of music. We're just new metal, was that what you'd call it? From Corn and from our guest who has now left that group that brought him fame, Brian Welch. New metal, is that is that the best moniker for it? I'll take it. How are you? Good, you? Good, good to see you. You too, thanks you, for having us. You, you left Corn. what is it now, three years ago, I think. Yeah, three and a half. And, and said, I'm out of here, I'm, I'm going to the, to the Christian realm of music. What, yeah. what happened? Um, it's a long story. We got we got lots of time. Uh, I was just hanging out with my guys, my, my best friends in corn. We rose to the top, partied all the all the way up, and uh, the party started to turn on us. And um, all of us lost uh, our marriages, and uh, we went a little nuts. You know, I got hooked on crystal meth, and I uh, in 2003, 2004, I did crystal meth every day. I hid it from my friends; they didn't even know. But uh, that's, I, that's maybe, from what I've read and heard, maybe the nastiest drug you could ever get involved in. Yep. Sorry. It's just, <laughs> I mean, it just sends you out there to where some people never come back. Yeah. I mean, I was going that way. I was, like, falling into a suspicious paranoia, a, a psychotic state of mind, and if I didn't get help, I would have been a goner. Yeah. Well, the, the, I think it was the NBC uh, investigative show did a piece on, on crystal meth about a year ago. And they actually had a police tape of this couple that had done it, and, and they were lost during a snowstorm, and had called police and were trying to explain where they were. And it was so sad they could have found them if they could have just described exactly where they were. And they were talking about seeing cows on roofs. and I mean, Yeah, was, I saw know, that on the A&E or something. Yeah, yeah that's, exactly. that's great. That was bizarre. crazy. I just think about that, and, you know, see those stories, and you're like, It could have been you. Yeah, totally. I mean, I was like, Oh, it was nuts. So, well, it's great to have that realization now, but I mean, you, you came that close to, to who knows what, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm really thankful. And that's why I throw myself into what I'm doing now, because I'm really thankful to be alive. Yeah, and, and what are you doing now for music, and, and uh, what do all of your old friends say? Do you still stay in touch with them? Um, I've talked to them a few times, and it's all good. It was a little shaky in the beginning, because everybody thought I went crazier, you know? It's funny because you do drugs and you're normal and stuff, but when you quit and, and become a Christian, they think you're crazy. <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm just sharing what what I went through in my music, and I got a book out, and I'm just you know I'm trying to inspire people and just uh, doing music is what I love. The the book is called Washed by Blood. Did you feel like you were trying to inspire young people when you were playing for Corn when you were at Woodstock back there in '99? Um, no, it was all about me. You know, I just wanted to be a rock star. I wanted to be the man. I loved music, and I loved to create it, and I wanted people to like what I created. So, um, you know, ever since I left that, I'm finding out and I'm learning that it's not about me. It's about, you know, giving what you're given in this life to others, to, to bless others, you know, and and it's just, uh, it's, it's really cool. Who started you on that road? Um, I had a couple friends. I was, see, I was this tweaker guy doing meth, but I was... I had these friends I was doing real estate deals with, so I was like, I had, or I appeared to have my stuff together and stuff, and and they were Christians, and they weren't like pushy or nothing, they just, I think their wives drugged them to church, mainly, I don't think they were like full on, but uh, they they asked me to go with them, and I, and I went one, you know, one one day, and my whole life changed. Yeah, what what did you discover there? What? Well, the, uh, the pastor talked about just God being real, and the guy's like real charismatic, and like, really energetic and he was like you just talk to god every day and all the bad things will fall off you and in my messed up mind i was like okay i'm gonna receive christ today i'm gonna raise my hand down i'm gonna go home and snort my meth until i don't feel like doing it no more and just talk to jesus <laughs> that's what i did and a couple of weeks later i just i felt like throwing the stuff away i felt inside of me like you know you just have thoughts inside i felt so strong like everything in your life is going to change and uh you're just you you're going to die, all that stuff is going to die, and you're going to start a new life, so... So all of a sudden you, you did the talking without the drugs. Yeah. And and uh, and you were on your way. 
Yeah, I just felt a uh, peaceful presence come to my room, and it was just so euphoric, and I just knew it was from another place, and uh, I was changed, and it was so real that I'm still changed three and a half years later. Yeah, have have you stayed that way completely? I mean, everybody fails. Have Have you? After about a couple of weeks after I quit, I found some drugs in my closet, and I ended up doing them. But um, I after that, I haven't done nothing since. And I found drugs another time. That's how many drugs I had in my house. And I just instead of doing them this time, I walked out of the room and I said, "God, give me strength." And then I went and got a camera and I, I recorded myself throwing them away. Wow! <laughs> so a picture how, of my book. how has the Christian community uh, reacted to you and accepted you? Um, it's been good. It's been inspiring a lot of the kids, actually, because, you know, it's just someone from the other side comes in, you know, basically, basically saying, hey, you guys are right, man. There is uh, some good things going on here. Hmm. But it, it's pretty cool to see the kids get really stoked about it. Yeah, and, and you're having a much different impact on kids now, I suspect, than you did when you were with Gordon. Yeah, it's just... Uh, you know, a lot of people are wearing the same things as me, you know, whether, maybe not crystal meth, but, you know, just think hard times in life. And they're like, if this guy can get through that, you know, then my, my problems are, you know, minor. And I've had people, every every uh, CD signing we do and stuff is like, people are saying, uh, you know, last night they're saying, uh, you saved my life, your book saved my life. So that's rewarding. From what I understand, the lead singer of Corn, Jonathan Wallace, wants desperately to uh, to have you back. Um, will, you, will you go back? I'm just doing my own thing now, you know. Um, I miss those guys, but uh, um, I got no plans to, you know. But I never say never. Yeah. So you still mind? Well, that, that's your choice down the road. You you seem at peace with your decision and what you've done, though. I got to tell you. I just I've never had so much peace, and uh, and I'm I feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be in life. And you hope that others see that and follow. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Some people might just like the music because it's like heavy rock music, you know. Some people might get inspired and some people might not like it. How dare you? No. <laughs> <laughs> 7 o'clock tonight, Brian Welch will be at uh, Borders in Birmingham, right? Yep. Signing copies of his book, Washed by Blood. You can meet him there, talk music, listen to music together. Yep, and CD. the CD is out last week and... Uh, so, you know, we'll be blasting it in the store and making it a rock store for oh, an hour. Congrats on what you've done, Brian. Thank you for being here. Oh, no, thank you. Good to meet you. Washed by Blood is the book, Brian Welch. A break, and then we pick up President Bush at the U.N.